Hi everybody, I hope you're all safe and well and washing your hands. Um, I've got a little quiz for you to do, so well done for finding this video. I want you to now watch um, the little video I'm going to clip on after this about the artist Henri Matisse. And you're going to find out all about him and then I've got a quiz for you to take and that should be in the assignment that you'll find on your team's page. So, well done for getting this far and good luck with it. And if you've got any problems, send me a message on Teams. Okay, good luck and I look forward to reading your replies. Oh, and I will post you a, a practical artwork um, task to do after this. Okay, right, good luck and goodbye. Today we will learn about the artist Henri Matisse. Matisse was born in a small town in northern France in 1869. When he finished school, he moved to Paris to study law and become a court administrator. However, he tried out painting while he was healing from an illness and quickly decided that he wanted to be an artist instead of a lawyer. Matisse is known for colorful, vibrant paintings and sculptures. At the beginning of the 1900s, he was classified as a fauve artist. Fauve means wild beast in French, and Matisse's paintings definitely seemed wild, explosive, and unconventional to many who saw his work at the time. Matisse mingled with many famous artists and writers in Paris, including Pablo Picasso and Gertrude Stein and eventually moved to the French town of Nice to continue his work. Paper cutout! After battling stomach cancer at the age of 72, Matisse was confined to a wheelchair. This made it difficult to paint and create sculptures, but Matisse was not ready to give up the work that he loved so he created a new form of art, paper cutouts. He turned scissors into an artistic tool. Matisse would cut pre-painted paper into various shapes and sizes and then arrange and glue them on other pieces of paper, sometimes mural-sized paper that was as big as a wall. He would have a helper pin the cutouts on the wall and move them around until they were just right. His paper collages were cheerful and unique with whimsical shapes and vibrant colors. Matisse was one of the first artists to use paper collages as an art form, and you can see his influence in some very popular children's books today. <laughs> 